they don't know they will acknowledge is that water tends to seek its level of balance. It has this uncanny quality about it to have a balancing property. It's seeking a level. I mean, it just does it in really a fascinating way. And there is always an interaction. Water is always interacting with the environment that it's in. If there's a body of water, it is interacting. Sometimes when we, can, we see it, when we don't see it. And if it has energy, and the environment does not have energy, then the water that's holding and having it, and with that to give, because of its natural balancing nature, is going to give to that environment. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if the environment has energy and the water does not, then the water, that's those same tendencies, that water is going to receive, take from it. But ultimately, it's the water that's in the environment that has the energy that is giving to the water volume that does not. There is an interaction of water happening all the time. Now, in our society, our social structures today, we are interacting with water that predominantly is low in that energy. It, do, it predominantly does not have that energy to give. And we can say whether it's from water treatment, from the standpoint of, you know, it's got to be delivered, the, the logistics of getting water from a, a treatment plant to a domicile basically involves being delivered, transported, if you will, through straight, smooth pipes. And as we know, straight, smooth rivers and streams do not exist. And all of those curves, all of those differences in elevation, all those changes of direction, all those obstruction provide the opportunity, even includes the rocks and everything else that are in those beds, they provide the means by which water is energizing itself, is refreshing itself, it's getting the minerals and elements that it needs because that is its purpose too, to exchange those with others. And that also means to, to enhance life. Now, the basic deal is this. By the time it gets to the domicile, the only thing that has occurred that the water could do because it's been going through a straight, smooth conveyance called pipes is it has basically had its energy scruffed off, frictional loss they call it, but it's been brought down. And by the time we are using it, if we are drinking this water, if we're bathing, showering in it, for example, if this is a home, then if there's energy in the body, that water that we're taking in is going to be actually taking from the recipient to build itself up again. This is not bad, it's not good, this water is not dead per se, it's depleted. And so the natural balancing properties, characteristics of what water is, and that's also what the universe is, this is a universal thing, but that balance process will happen. And basically what we're saying, if we acknowledge that the water is literally depleted of energy, and the energy depletion is a result of the lack of opportunity for that water to refresh and rejuvenate itself, which is done through motion, through spin dynamics, through vortexing. What we're doing and what our solution is, is to put such an implement into the water line. And basically, it is giving that water volume an opportunity to spin up again, to restore the electrical and magnetic properties that are associated with a high energy, a water that's in a high energy state, such as rain, such as in a waterfall, such as in a stream, in a rapidly moving river. Hmm. And that is the thing. This, when people begin to understand, understand that and start to see, we know that water that's in this high spin state is super, super infiltrating 
it penetrates, it gets to places where water that is what you might call bulk, in a bulk state, it doesn't go. We know that the surface tension of that high, of that bulky water is higher. We know that the spin dynamics are, are lower. We know that the electrical uh, properties of it are lower. We actually, we know even that the oxygen levels and availability are lower in bulk water. And so we are seeing higher oxygen levels. We, are, we know that the infiltration is far, far more pernicious. I don't know if that, that word just came out. I don't know if it means anything or not. But we know that it persists in getting places. And this is of critical importance, which, especially even in health, you talk about blood-brain barriers, you talk about aquaporin channels to get into intracellular. Water with a high surface tension is not going to get in the cell. And part of the high surface tension also has to do with the overall charge density of the, uh, of the cells, for example. Vortex water is going to be able to get to these places, get through capillaries that are so small, they're one cell wide. But I understand they're like over 65,000 miles of capillaries in an average uh, human body. It's a lot of places for water to go. And many of them are very, very tiny. That's one reason, for example, a lot of our conditions happen peripherally. You have peripheral neuropathy. You have uh, the various things that happen in the, in the edges where the oxygen levels have been low for a long time. One, because the water that people have been using can't get to the, all those places. So it's a really, a really a, a, a big deal. And this is something as part of starting the 2020s as uh, the new water consciousness the decade of a new water consciousness, I'd like us to, by the end of this decade, for this to be common knowledge, that everyone knows this. This will be a matter of fact, of course. We need to have these things on our homes, on our farms, not simply because we'll make more money, but we're gonna have water that actually gets places that it needs to be. We know that it's really important for our waters to get to every place in our bodies and in order to do so, it needs the spin, it needs the motion, that it needs the stability, it needs the electrical, it needs all of those things, and we get, we see it. We've got, you know, five, ten years worth of results now of knowing this is what's happening, and it was happening even before we could even explain it ourselves. Yeah.